Paula, International House London has got involved in investors in people. Can you tell me about this? Um, in 1999 and 2000, the organisation went through quite a difficult period. Um, we went through a major restructuring programme. Um, there were a number of redundancies and this left the organisation really in quite a difficult position. There was um, a lack of trust, there were, people felt very uncertain and insecure in their roles. Um, and we thought that we needed to put in place a good framework to start looking at our people policies and how we manage people, how we develop people. Um, this really, uh, th there wasn't an HR department in the, in the school prior to 2000. Um, this was something that was introduced following the restructuring um, and with the introduction of HR we became more interested in really looking at people management um, IIP was it had been, it was mentioned by somebody who came in as CEO at the time. He was interested in it, and he had worked with um, other organisations. Um, so we decided to invite somebody in to do an initial assessment. Um, he came in, met with various members of staff, um, spoke to them, and at that stage in 2001, we failed against all of the criteria in investors in people because we weren't quite meeting in terms of strategy we didn't have anything written down people didn't know what it was there was a lot of uncertainty um, people didn't know how what they should expect from their managers um, people didn't know where the, where the organization was going and there was still all that mistrust so we thought this seems to be a really good framework within which to work um, to get some good strategies in place um, to move forward and um, develop the business.